Now here is question number 20 which has been my assignment question for many students and I have actually never seen a complete answer for this question. So let me discuss this at length. Question number 20 is right triangle ABC has vertices A K77 B165 and C minus 298. Find all possible values of K. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, this is also the last question of my series on communication and, and thinking questions, right? So, let's figure out what are these sides, right? So, let me say, I want to write K first. So, I'm saying that my sides are BA. So, BA will be equal to uh, K minus 1. So, I'm saying K minus 1. And then 7 minus 6 is 1 and 7 minus 5 is 2. So that is BA. Now what is uh, CB? So CB is going to be C to B. So we have 1 minus 2 which becomes plus 3. 6 minus this is minus 3 and 5 minus this is again minus 3. Okay and now let's say CA is what? CA is K minus 2 is K plus 2 minus minus and 7 minus 9 is minus 2 7 minus 8 is minus 1 okay so these are the sides of my triangle now we are saying that it is a right triangle important thing is we have not specified A B or C which one of these is actually uh, at 90 degrees right now that is very critical to understand so since that is open so in such questions we have to keep this option open do you see that so we have three possible situations so we have three possible situations let me just make three different triangles here I hope you get the concept right so what are these situations we could have right angles at A, we could have right angles at B, we could have right angle at C. The, these are the three situations, correct? So, so we can say uh, this is A, this is B, or this is C, which is at right angles. And accordingly, we can actually call other sides as, uh, so, C, whatever, right? So, just, just write them as A, B, C. Does it make sense to you? So basically, we have three different cases to work with. And each case will result into different value of K. Now, when you're working with the case one, in that case, uh, BA dot this side, which I'm saying uh, A to C or CA, whatever, right? It should be equal to zero. Does it make sense to you? Here, B is right there at the right angles. So we say BA dot CB equals to 0. Here C is there. So C is common to these two. CB dot CA equals to 0. So these are three different scenarios. Let's begin with BA dot CA first. BA is uh, K minus 1, 1 and 2 dot CA is K plus 2 minus 2 minus 1 equals to 0. So when you multiply, you get, uh, let me write, we'll do it in two steps, k plus 2. And then we have 1 times minus 2 as minus 2, 2 times minus 2 as minus 2 equals to 0. So k square plus 2k minus k minus 2, and this is minus 4 equals to 0. So we have k square plus k minus 6 equals to 0. You could factor this, correct? Product of minus 6, sum of plus 1. So that means positive 3 times k minus 2 equals to 0. So that gives you k equals to minus 3 or k equals to plus 2, correct? So that becomes our case number 1. Now let's do the second case, which is... Uh, BA dot CB is 0. So BA is uh, K minus 1, 1 and 2 dot CB is 
3 minus 3 minus 3 equals to 0. So that means 3 times this is 3k minus 3 minus 3 and 2 times this is minus 6 equals to 0. So we have 3k equals to minus 6 that comes to that side as plus 12. So k equals to 12 over 3. So we get k equals to 4, correct? Okay, so let's move on and do the third case which is CB CA CB is 3 minus 3 minus 3 dot CA which is K plus 2 minus 2 minus 1 equals to 0. Correct? So let's multiply. So 3 times K plus 6 minus and minus makes it plus 6 minus and minus makes it plus 3 equals to 0. So we have 3 k 6 6 12 plus 3 15 equals to 0. 3 k equals to minus 15 or k equals to minus 15 by 3. So we get k equals to minus 5. Correct? So depending on the scenario, these are possible values of k and so we write down our answer as k is equals to minus 3, it could be 2, it could be 4, it could be minus 5. So these are all the solutions for the given question. Do you get it? Right? So when we are working in this exercise, we have to really look for all possible solutions. It has a meaning, right? So find all possible values of k. That is how it should be done. Perfect.